Okay, we got anybody in the back? I want to rotate, move, move it around a bit. We've got a, uh, a, a woman right there. Um, I just want to say that I'm noticing that people here in the audience have obviously read this bill, or at least good portions of it. I've read the bill. All 1,018 pages. I find it horrifying. We're talking about people's lives. There's been a lot that's happened here in America in the past six months, and going even back to George Bush's presidency. All of a sudden, in the past six, seven months, there's just stuff coming at us right and left. Thousand page bills, we've got cap and trade, we've got a trillion dollars going to insolvent banks. And now we're talking about another trillion dollars to have this giant entity that's going to tell us what we do with our health care. People here in the United States don't like to live being in fear of their government. And for the first time in my life, I don't know what's coming out of Washington, what lobbyists are behind it, who's pushing this. I, I hear that Obama's made a deal with the pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> That's not a deal. The pharmaceutical companies also play a role in our costs of health care. What the people want is honesty. We want to believe what the people are saying when they say they're representing us. And when I see Gary Peters not want to come and listen to us, that further makes me afraid of my government. That is not what the Constitution told us was our government. 